Hey everyone, so I went and saw a movie last night. It's this little indie flick known as, oh, you know, Terminator Salvation. Yeah, it's the fourth Terminator movie, and it's now finally the future, and we're in the middle of this gigantic crazy war with the machines. The franchise is no longer in Arnold Schwarzenegger series of movies, and it's now just an all-out thrilling action flick. So what did I think about this movie? It kicked ass. It kicked so much ass. I really loved this movie as I saw it sitting in the theater. I My, I, my head was just locked on to the movie screen. I actually went into this movie ready to be disappointed after Star Trek turned out to be amazing and then followed up with Wolverine, which was, well, I watched Wolverine after Star Trek, and I thought Wolverine was, well, it was better than the third X-Men movie. I was just ready to be disappointed. Early reviews on the net were ho-hum for Terminator. A friend I talked to said that one of his other friends thought it was mediocre, and yeah, Terminator 3 seemed a little unnecessary, although I still consider that one to be entertaining. But yeah, fourth movie, no one from the original, and Christian Bale himself thought the picture was going to be terrible, apparently. But no, I thought it was a really great, exciting, fun movie. Terminator 4 is not Terminator 2. You know, one thing I really like about these Terminator movies is that they are completely different kinds of movies. Terminator 1 is basically this horror suspense flick with some random 80s goofball sci-fi thrown in. T2 is this great coming-of-age tale with humor and action scenes while it tells a story regarding fate and so on. T3? Well, overall, T3 was just an entertaining flick that moved the storyline further, and thankfully it's no longer the swan song of the franchise. T4? Well, just freaking awesome action film with set designs and sound production. This just does not hold itself back. It's really something to create a good action film that keeps your attention and holds it steadily throughout an entire hour and a half or however long this movie was. The explosions cannot just become generic white noise. The characterization needs to be there and the film needs to be adrenaline charged. For an action film to truly keep up its momentum and never let go while keeping you on the edge of your seat really does take some artistic skill. Random explosions do not work, and not everyone can make a movie with this much insanity going on on screen the entire time that is still very entertaining. But yes, I found T4 to be great in that it's an extension of the story, and I really enjoyed it. This kind of post-apocalyptic world has never been so well made in live action that I've seen or at least that I can think of right now. I really couldn't tell you what was and wasn't computer animated but that's not the point. Whatever the sets were they were just so great to look at. But while we're on the topic of Terminator Salvation it's time to go a little off topic because I just want to rant about something that still irks me to this day. Luckily, though, this movie is about blowing shit up, so no one really cares anymore. But the world, I feel, still needs a little insight. If you've been following the random, pointless Hollywood drama bombs over the past year, or whatever, you know that on one single occasion, T4 star Christian Bale a.k.a. John Connor, a.k.a. Batman, freaked out on the set. Something a techie guy was doing in the background, and I can't even remember anymore because it doesn't matter, was doing something while a scene was being shot, and it pissed Christian Bale off as he had been doing it repeatedly, and so Bale decided to tell a few people to fuck off for about 10 minutes. And it hit the internet, and everyone was, oh my god, oh my god, this... This star, this this Hollywood little prick, he's, he's not thankful for who he is, and he's telling random people off, and how dare he. Alright, I'm not going to say that it wasn't excessive, but let's just get some facts straight. 
I'm sure Christian Bale had been working, I don't know, 14-hour days at least. That is just a given when you're shooting a movie. Conditions aren't always the greatest, and he's probably been sweating his ass off. I have no idea about the family life of Christian Bale, because I really don't give a crap about this kind of stuff. But if he has one, he almost certainly hadn't been spending any good time with them, or any other good non-working friends for that matter because he had been so extremely busy it doesn't matter how much money you make or how much christian bale was getting paid your psychology doesn't dull when something pisses you off all right i know that i'm not a saint and if i could get away with it i'm sure i would freak the hell out on someone at my own job at least twice a year at least with some of the past jobs I've held where people are pricks and don't really realize anything that happens beyond a two-foot radius of their warm body. Fuck, you, you know, it feels really damn good sometimes to let out some steam every now and then. And if all you get is a slap on the wrist, if anything, <laughs> it's game on. Someone's being unprofessional jackass let it rip especially if i was stressed the hell out because i wasn't getting any sleep that i wanted or the family attention that i wanted or whatever i'm sure every once in a great while i would freak out just as christian bale did was what is it an unprofessional move yeah not exactly the ideal thing to do but who the hell is professional every single moment of every single day? Who doesn't get a little bitchy given the opportunity every now and then? I cannot think of a single friend of mine who I haven't seen pissed off about something that when looking in from the outside didn't seem like that big of a deal. Everyone does it. Every once in a while. Just because Christian Bale makes a lot of money doesn't mean he's not human. But here is the real kicker that drives me nuts over everything else about this and why i'm actually ranting about this because people are really ignorant to this christian bale is an actor in order to be a good actor you need to be emotional you need to be more emotional than the average person who would not make a good actor you need to be able to feel and act a certain way when some writing on a piece of paper calls for it. It's very difficult for the common person to pull this off well. At least, really well. So, like I said, you need to be emotional. Well, shocking! Christian Bale just so happened to feature a trait in his personality that he was hired for having. So getting on Bale's case for having the very same personality that gets him work in the first place is ridiculous. Emotional people, which is what a good actor typically is, by definition, sometimes display emotions. Wow. So all in all, enjoy the movie if you love post-apocalyptic insanity. New character Marcus, played by Sam Worthington, was great. And in my opinion, Kyle Reese was an interesting character as well, who we haven't seen since the first film. Good times, highly recommended. Let me know what you think. I know not everyone probably loved this movie. I mean, I've seen it get some mediocre reviews, so let me know what your opinion is. Thanks for watching.